stuck in my own mindset, trying to figure it out, how to get out, but this ain't working, it ain't working, I got the voice of a city, but this shit ain't working, when's my time to shine, when it's gonna be, when it's gonna be, I'm the number one, the billboard shot to me, looking at every artist out here in the fire one day, man, I'm trying to get there, trying to get that paper. Yo, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome You are here At the Untouched Live Untouched Radio Untouched Podcast It's another episode of the Untouched Radio Show I am your host, Be Easy Better known as Easy And I'm here with another guest Special Yo. guest He's been around Coming through And uh To the, to the studio To Untouched Studios And uh You know I want him to To come on here And, and share his story So So <laughs> welcome Young and Mitch man. Thank you bro Appreciate it So So I'm gonna get right into it bro Excuse me as I open my Sprite <laughs> Sprite You feel me It's alright bro so yeah, let's get it right into it, man. How did you come up with your name, Young M H? Hanging out with a friend. My name used to be the Mike Assassin, <laughs> <laughs> and it was she said it was corny. So let's change it up, and I'm like, all right, fine. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Everybody was in the studio that day. I think change it up, just mm-hmm. do something different. That's a yeah. long name. So then it was like. Young M H, yeah, you might as know you might know him. You know what I mean? But so that's what it all started from there. Okay, copy that, copy that. Now, um, were you ever worried about the controversy of it of a young M A already existing, and then now you just change one letter and it changed the the dynamic of? Oh, well, young M-A. young M H is basically my initials. Yeah, that's so why. That's, so that's why I want. I still wanted to keep. You know, what I mean, the legacy of my first name of and the name. last name yeah. together. The the Mike Assassin was the same thing mm-hmm. because of Mike and Michael. Right. Sure. Sure. Know? Okay. So. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so you know, you wasn't worried. You wasn't worried about any it. sort of like backlash of just. No, coming I out was, under um, the name that's so similar to a popular artist that's already existing in the industry. There's like probably a different other people that call that calls himself young something. Sure. Of course. Yeah, you know I mean that's on YouTube and stuff like that. You if you scroll and you just type in young and major like like I say like a few artists. I hear that. I love it, man. You got to stand on it, man. You come up with a name, you got to stand on it. That's what it's yeah. all about. So it's all about. Uh huh. So what got you into music, man? What 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 made you um uh, decide to uh become an artist? <laughs> I honestly I wanted to become a country singer when I was young. Oh, get out! <laughs> country singer, huh? Yeah, when I was okay, younger. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I like it. And my best friend, she got me into rap, so that changed up for that. But I also didn't wanted to. You know, work a nine to five and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, I, I, do do you see similarities between country and uh, rap music, or do you think they're just two totally different worlds? Two different, two totally different words. Okay. Words. Um. It's you know what I mean. They sometimes sing about the Lord and stuff like that. Okay. You know well, you I, know, in in hip hop, you could sing, you could rap and sing about yeah. the Lord too. They got that too. Yeah. So would you say that would classify as country? Yeah, classify, but rap doesn't have the the killing words in it. <laughs> okay, okay. You okay. know. Okay. So so all right. Who are your um your early influencers? Like the people that <sighs> you listened to early on that uh when you crossed over from being a uh, country singer more into the hip hop realm when your best friend was like, "Yo, you should do hip hop. Did did she show you like some albums or did she show you some artists? First, Any, anybody? The first one was Eminem. Okay. 
that was my mother. <laughs> okay. And then the second one. So your mom showed you Eminem? Yeah. Okay. And then like one of my friends showed me 50 Cent. Oh, 50. Okay, yeah. so you went from M to 50. Uh -huh. And then it was over from there. He was, <laughs> yeah. he was a hip-hop lover. Yeah. yeah, I get it, man. Those two, two are hip-hop moguls, man. Giants in this game. So I get that 100%, man. That's awesome. So, uh, do you have a favorite Eminem song? Uh, <laughs> probably from the nineties. <laughs> you know, when these first started making music and started coming out with Dr. Dre. You know, the first, the really first ones. Oh, okay, okay. Not none in particular. Just no, not really. Okay. Just early on, M. Just yeah. when he first came on the scene. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Okay, okay, okay. What about Fifty? I think um I think it was when he got like shot nine times he made an album about it. I forgot the name of it though. It was so long, it was long ago. Okay. All right. So so no so so not the power of a dollar fifty. You thinking more of get rich or die trying fifty? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So boom. When when you think about your impact in music, mm. you know what do you what do you look to accomplish with your music? Um. Do you do you look to um, because you know you was influenced by Eminem and Fifty, and they had some uh, some hardships in life, and that's how they kind of shared their story. Mm -hmm. um, what about yourself? How what do you feel like? Uh, you is your legacy that you leave here with the, I, with the um, industry in this music world. I'm just trying to make it. You know what I mean? Get my mama a crib, stuff like that, mm -hmm. and basically just show kids that have you know learning disabilities that your dreams can come true if you just automatically put the work in. I hear that. You know. I hear that, man. A lot of people they automatically said that you cannot do it and stuff like that. Right. Because you got some kids on TV that, that had, you know what I mean, that had disabilities and stuff like that. Right. There are movies and shit. You know what I mean, that basically shows you that you can. Yeah. You know? You ever thought about being in movies or doing movies yeah. or anything like that? Yeah. Something <laughs> that you see? Yeah, okay, that, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, you know, like, that's what I see myself doing in now, the future. Now, now um... I you know I heard you mention learning disabilities. Mm. I um that's a very sensitive topic for me because I used to work in that field with a lot of people with uh developmental disabilities and uh individuals that 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 struggle with that, you know. Yeah. So that's a sensitive topic. Um do you, do you care to share, you know, to people that may be out there having those those struggles like, you know, um care to share some some inspiration to the, to those people that uh that want to make it, man. That that, that want to do something different with those disabilities. Yeah. Um. Follow your heart. Because your heart can automatically tell you what's good and what's wrong. You know. And hang out with the right people. Don't hang out with the wrong people. Always watch your so your um circle. Mm -hmm. You know I what I mean? Because one friend can be talking behind your back and you don't know that. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 unfortunate, man. That's everywhere. Yeah. That's everywhere. Not just in that world, but every every part of the world. Yeah. There's somebody that's talking behind your back and making you, uh, you know, just it's it's, it's unfortunate, you know. Mm. So, uh, with those, do do you care to share uh the the developmental disabilities or the the uh disabilities that you have that, that keep you from the learning disabilities that only, you have I cannot read that's the only disability that I know of right now there's okay. probably a lot more <laughs> gotcha okay. that I don't know about but I do know about but I forgot the name of it okay got you got you so yeah. so um let's 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 take it back towards more more of the beginning so are you uh from the 518 yeah, I've been raised and born out here my entire life. <laughs> okay, that's that's cool, man. That's yeah. that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, what part? Um, first part was Albany. Okay. 
So he was born in Albany? Yeah, a little bit, and then moved to Waterville, then back and forth, you know. From Albany to Waterville? No, to land to, to back to Waterville. Gotcha, okay, okay, okay. So, what uh got you into country music? What <laughs> made you want to do it, be a country singer? Uh, my grandmother. Okay. You know, when I was little and stuff like that. Shout she out had, to grandma. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace to her too. Yeah, rest in peace, man. <laughs> Word. Rest yeah. in peace to grandma. But she got me into it when I was probably like four or five. Okay. You know. Do you have a favorite country song? Or do you have a song that she she got you into oh, at first? We, we used to listen to every country song. <laughs> Everyone that was out? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> she was a fan fan. Mm, yeah, heavy yeah. fan. I love it. Okay, you know okay. I mean? That's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah, country music, uh, that's something I learned when I moved uh, up to the 518 and just kind of came around the area. I learned and listened to more country music, kind of opened my, my ears up to it. I love oh. the stories that it do tell. Yeah. It's just, it, that that is the similarities that I see with country music and mm. hip hop is yeah. the storytelling. Because out here it's like mixed up with city, country. Mm. Yeah. So it's mixed up with both. Yeah. So it's more like a gospel. <laughs> yeah, I hear it. I hear it. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. So uh, do you consider your, consider yourself a religious man? Hmm. Do you consider yourself a religious man? Yeah, I'm Catholic. Okay, okay. The stuff I say in my songs ain't really <laughs> Jesus like. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, man. You you living your truth, bro. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. You're speaking your truth as well. There's nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah. It's not one side without the other side. No, it's different. Yeah, but it's just they they don't exist without each other. Mm-hmm. You know that's the that's always the common mistake that people have. When they uh, discuss those those topics, you know, mm. there's not one side without the other side. Yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah, um, so yeah, where uh, the song we was just playing, that song mm. was uh, "Life," and uh, heard you mention to me before that you 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 consider working on a, a project in the near future. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna make probably seven or four songs. Okay. And start off from there. See okay. where see where it goes. So like a little EP, not yeah. not necessarily the full LP, but the EP just to get them yeah. get them going. Cause you got two out. I see. Okay. Life and soul. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you got a fave out of those two? I say life. Life. That's the because one that. That's that the hits. one. That's the one that I kind of. Work my uh, ass on on the breakup and stuff like that. Got you. So oh, so that one got some pain in it. Yeah, but it didn't really, you know what I mean, except, you know, that type of theme. And Soul was me basically focusing on going back to who I really was. You know, because I was dealing with a lot of evil. Mm-hmm. You know, I let people in, and then they, you know what I mean, decided to automatically do dirty and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, man, and uh, you know what? You made it through. I mean, here you are pursuing your career, bro. You're pursuing, you know, the the yeah. hip-hop artist route. Do you <laughs> have a Do you have a, uh, a title for your project? Um, not really, not it's yet. It's in the works. It's, it's in, in the, the it's in the works. Yeah. Okay. 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 Any features, man? You got any special features? Any um, special um, shout outs? In or it's all I don't by really, yourself? I don't really mess with nobody. Okay. I do my own thing. Yeah. You know, what I mean, if somebody wants a feature, then they can holler at me. You know, <laughs> I, mean? I don't care. How can they find you? Let them know how to find you. Um, Instagram, Twitter. And YouTube, yeah. Let them yeah. know how to find where. What's your Instagram is um, Young MH five one eight. Um, Snap, Young MH, Facebook, Young MH, 
Uh, I'll probably write down the email later. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And we got to have that in the bio for the people, yeah. man. And um, I think it's cool. I think it's cool that you, you find time mm. to pursue, you know, a lifestyle that yeah. I love to pursue a career choice that I that I also uh, pursue, you mm-hmm. know, and it's all about pushing the culture forward. And the fact that you are representing people with learning disabilities and and uh, you're trying to approach this thing and represent them in that fashion, I think that's cool. Mm-hmm. And I want you to keep that going. You know what I'm saying? Keep that going. Don't let people tear that away. You know, no, no. don't let them, don't let them stop you. And you, and you doing it by yourself anyway. Ain't nobody gonna be in the way. Yeah, you don't got them yeah. around. <laughs> <laughs> I usually keep my circle. You know, what I mean, really, really, really small. Okay. You know, because you don't know. Like I said, you don't know when somebody's talking about you. True story. True story, man. Yeah, man. And sometimes the chatter is healthy. Yeah. People are not people are not talking about you. You're not doing anything. Mm-hmm. You know, something you got to be doing for them to be talking about you. Absolutely. Uh, so, got to have haters, man. Unfortunately, we got to have them. Yeah, man. I was here I was here in um Pitbull. He said, "Love your haters because the the haters automatically talk." And if they as if and if they keep on talking, that's how you get the that's how you get the fame. Yeah, man. Yeah man, but yeah, um, yeah. Best of luck to you, man. I I hope uh, all continues to 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 grow and and mm. you continue to develop. Yeah. You know, don't you know, don't stop pursuing your craft. You got you just named three artists that are one hell of a lyricist. Like we're mm. talking Eminem, Fifty, and then you said Pitbull. They all make phenomenal songs. Yeah. Pull from that inspiration, bro. You know, start to tap in. Um, there's a lot in this hip hop world mm. that can help you get through some of these trials and tribulations that that happen in life. But outside of that, you know, make sure you continue to do your homework. Mm. Don't be just like a new artist that just feel like you got it. You know, continue to to to, to listen to the ones that made it. You know, the the the, the ones that made an impact in the game. Yeah, absolutely. That's how you. Yeah. That's how you. That's how you get to where you need to go, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, man. But yeah. Um, so you heard the man. You know where to follow him. Uh, Young MH five one eight on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Young MH on Snapchat. Young MH on all music platforms. He got two singles out right now. He got one single is um, Life, the other single Soul. Uh, go check him out, man. Give him a spin. Shoot a comment. Shoot a like. Subscribe to his situation, man. Mm. Got to support. Got to support local. Got to support global. We all got to be in it for the race, man. And that's the human race. Mm-hmm. You hear me? And, uh, yeah. And I appreciate everyone for tuning in. We out. It's a rap, Tom. <laughs>